Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. I want to thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Up Close and Personal with Angela on behalf of Aspiring Authors Magazine. For those that do not know, I am Angela Thomas-Smith. I am the founder of AALAC, which is the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign, where I truly believe in bringing awareness to brown authors all over this world. I am also the CEO of Aspiring Authors Magazine, where I believe in bridging the gap between brown authors around the world and touching on topics that they don't want to talk about. So today I have an amazing individual that's going to come on and she's going to share just a little bit about who she is in her journey to walk it in her purpose. So if you would please share this in your circle of influence, because I promise you someone is going to be blessed. I've had an amazing week with some amazing guests, some amazing individuals. I thank God for this platform because it gives me an opportunity to share other individuals journey, other individuals testimonies so that you can be educated, empowered and encouraged so that you know that you have purpose, that you was not just dropped out of the sky, that God strategically placed you here. So I thank each and every one of my previous guests that have come on to share their journeys. So I'm going to move out of the way. And I'm going to allow my guest for today to come up and share just a little bit about who she is. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. How hello are there, you? Angela. I am well, thank you. Well, my Welcome. name it is so good to be on here with you today. Uh, my name is Nicole Peltier-Lewis, and I am a lifelong educator, a life coach, and an author of two children's books. And um, it has just been my life's mission to really help to empower and to ameliorate the lives of others in whatever way, shape, or platform that God allows me to do so. And uh, being an author of these two children's books, Amazingly Happy Things, and I Love Saturdays um, has been a part of my journey. So again, thank you for having me with you today. Awesome, 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 awesome. So you have been an educator for how long now? Over 20 years, my whole life. You know, I'm the type of, I was the type of kid who, uh, you know, when everyone else wanted to play kickball, I wanted to play school. So I, would, so I was like, anybody want to play school? I'm going to be the teacher and you'll be on, you know, on the stoop and they'll be the students. I've always been that one. And so I've been, I'm presently a principal of a, um, of a Catholic school in the District of Columbia but I've been an administrator in public, private, and charter schools, and I've taught community college as well. So I just love to empower people through education. You know what? I thank you because I think I I used to be that same little girl, but <laughs> I didn't go that route. But I always wanted to be the teacher. I always I said, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let me teach you something. I know but something. You know what? It helped me throughout my schooling, though. You know, it, it 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 helped me. It, it made me want to to learn. It made me want to, you know, to do a lot of things. I, I think that's helped me get where I am today. I don't think I would be able to be doing these shows and, you know, being a speaker if if I didn't have those traits as a young child. You know, and that's what I was telling people. You know, we get away from encouraging kids to chase after those things that they 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 enjoy as a child. When they become teenagers and adults, we we start molding them into what we want them to be instead of encouraging them to do the things that they love to do as a child. And right. you, oh my God, thank you. Yeah, my place is a blessing. You know, you have to teach your passion is is where God needs you, right? And so, um, and I always think, you know, no matter what happens in life, even if I was teaching on the stoop or you know, teaching a student at Dunkin' Donuts, tutoring them on the, you know, at the booth, or being the principal or consulting with uh, superintendents or wherever my journey has led me, um, rich or poor, you know, uh, Dunkin' Donuts to uh, the boardroom, wherever it was, that's still God's purpose being played in your life. And uh -huh. so once you know what that is and you just walk in it, then no matter what, you know, he's there guiding, guiding each and every step. And I, I think that's really um, the most powerful, the powerful gift that he gives us. So 
Sorry. Like I literally I don't, don't know what just happened. You know how you know right now <laughs> when it comes to the internet, you just have to roll with it because it happens all. <laughs> being a, a principal of a school that's a uh, hybrid, some students online, some students out here in the building. You know, we just have to just give it a chance, right? It's like you know what? It's everyone's accustomed to that now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then when it get good, it always want to act up. Uh -huh. so, I thank you because you definitely have a message that somebody needs to hear today. <laughs> yeah, you just don't even, you just, you know, it truly, it truly is. And he just wants you to stay in your purpose and stay in your giftedness. And no matter what, he's going to bless you and you're going to bless others through your gift. Wow. You know what? You, you, you just said two words that I just, just been dropped in my spirit. Like for the last, like God has been dealing with me with words. Hmm. Gift was one of those words. Purpose is my platform. Yeah. That that's 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 what I want people to know that they have a purpose. Jeremiah 29 and 11, that's what I live my life by. Mm, nice. But right now I'm standing on Luke 1 and 37 because I want people to know that faith. It don't make it easy. No. But it makes it possible. Amen to them. And we have to we have to understand that. You know, yeah. we have to understand that, you know, these things are going to come against us. They're going to come at us. Mm, you know, no weapon. Obstacles yes. For you to yeah. overcome. Yes. Let me show you something. Mm. <laughs> no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Like yeah. I have a calendar. I, I'm, I'm getting ready to launch a Monday motivational show um, in January. Um, That's exciting. 9 a.m. to 9.30 um, a.m. Nice. So it's a half hour of power. Yes. So, God dropped 12 words in my spirit that I'm going to be touching on over the 12 month period. Okay. And guess what the first one was? Purpose. Mm -mm. Gift. Ah. <laughs> but you, okay, tell it. My platform is purpose because I want mm -hmm. people to know that they have purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, everywhere I go, that's I have two shows it, um on on radio. Um mm -hmm. one is on Blog Talk Radio. Um nice. Walk in Purpose with Angela. Yes. And then I have one that airs every Sunday, um, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Sador Radio. And it's called Walking in Purpose with Angela. Amen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because I believe in Jeremiah 29 and 11. Even in my darkest, mm. I believed in Jeremiah 29 That's and 11. exactly right. That's exactly right. And that's exactly where these books were birthed from. Because um, about 11 years ago, I had a stroke. And um, so I was educated, like I said, since the stoop. And I was always uh, that one. And I, I you know, went through, went to college, did all the things that I was supposed to do, got married, had babies, okay. And um, I was a principal of a, of a school. And right after giving birth to my last son, I had a stroke with a 50, less than a 50% chance of survival. Um, and through God's grace, <laughs> through his grace, only his grace, because the doctors still can't explain it. Um, I was able to come back out of that walking and talking when they said I couldn't, wouldn't be able to do any of that. So my executive functioning skills were gone, but I was able to manage my, my children and, and still be able to remember, you know, who they were when I, when I uh, woke up from a coma. And when I got home with them though, I was reeling because I had been that lifelong educator. I had always had a, a class, a school, a forum. And uh, here I am with two kids under two, right? And all the things I had worked for, I'm like, what, God, where, what, do I, what do I do? And so in the time that I was home with them, I started to pen books. And so I would teach them through the books that I wrote. And so the books were, um, the books that I love Saturdays and Amazing Happy Things were birthed during that time when I was home with the boys healing from um, what is it was a catastrophic uh, medical um, challenge, um, but using the books as a way to heal me as well as to empower them. And then when I recognize, I'm like, look, I'm not having any more kids. The little boy in the book became the little girl in the book. And that's how Sienna, the main character of the book was birthed. And so um, that's how, that's what, got me on my, I mean, I wrote before, I was writing a little bit before that, but that's really where the, the character and the stories and the, the need for the story to be based in gratitude 
based in creating family memories, based in um, the little things in life that we take for granted. Um, that's why those are the things that are expressed in my books is that, you know, um, when you teach children to be grateful, grateful for the lollipop, grateful for their favorite song on the radio, grateful for mom's uh, couple scoops of ice cream because they got the honor roll, grateful that they ran, ran the race and won. When you teach them gratitude for little things, then they can endure those things that they can't, uh, that are unexpected, right? So just giving them the opportunity to learn about being thankful and grateful early on. Um, is what this book, Amazing Happy Things, does in a really fun, fun way. Wow. And people just don't understand being able to express your thanks and your gratitude for for things, little little things. It, mm -hmm. it makes a difference and it, it makes does. an impact. You know, I was sharing with um, some of my co-hosts um, last night, um, the ripple effect and how mm -hmm. you throw that, you throw that rock out in the pond or the lake or, or, or the ocean. And when it hit, how the, the waves just ripple out. That's right. You know, that's how, that's how your life should be. The love that you, that you show showing through your life, your life should be a ripple effect. You yeah. shouldn't even have to say nothing. Your actions should speak for you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The things that you're doing should, should, should speak for you. You shouldn't mm -hmm. even have to open your mouth. There should be a glow about you when you walk in the room. Amen. Your presence should be known. Yes. You preaching. Yes, wow, indeed. Wow, wow. That's the truth. You know, I was reading my students are um, getting ready to um, to uh, and go through the admissions process for high school. And they all have to write these essays for the, you know, about who they are. And one little girl wrote, um, I want to be the change. But if I can't be the change, let me at least be the spark. And, you know, and I think that is exactly how uh, what you just said reminded me of her her quote in her in, uh, her essay uh, this week is that no matter what, it may not be the the one thing that shifts the atmosphere that changes everything. Right. It may not be your multimillion dollar in, uh, you know, venture, but it will, what it will do, it will impress upon someone's heart. Mm -hmm. It could shift that paradigm just that much and shape someone else's trajectory. So. You know, that's how I look at um, the book, but that's how I look at everything that I do as well. So, you know, just be obedient and keep it moving, <laughs> you know, and just. Mm -hmm. And that's and how, that's I, how um, I, I'm at a point now where, you know, a lot of people have told me you allow too much for free. You do this. You open your platform. You do this. You know, when God gave me this platform. Hmm. <sighs> When he re when he gave me this, he told me it would be more than books. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand it in the beginning because there was still some growth and, and evolving and, and, and transforming and mm -hmm. a lot of things that God had to do to me for me to really truly understand. But all this was birthed because of some babies and not being able to find books that they could relate to. Right. And through that journey, I lost my dad. I've been hospitalized. I've endured mm -hmm. a whole lot. I've been through domestic violence, shot point blank range with a shotgun, you know, mm -hmm. so much. Enemy tried to take you make out. me feel like the thing that God had already promised me. Yes. We're not going to be. When made me want to believe that Jeremiah 29 and 11 was not Jeremiah 29 and 11 when he done told me it was. Mm -hmm. And then he not only, he reminded me in other chapters, but then if you go back up to Jeremiah 1 and 5, when he tell you, he, he know everything about us. You That's know, right. he know every hair on our head because he called them by name. Yes. yes. And then he said he set us apart. Yes. So that means there's no one else like us. So if there's no one else like us, then that means he know each and every one of us. That's right. That's right. Formed in our mother's womb. Yep. And he had a plan for us. And a plan and a purpose. Let, let me let me. I, I want to share all of my words with you for 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 the whole month. I'm, I'm gonna do it real quick. Okay, I want to hear. <laughs> so January is gift. Mm -hmm. February is life. Nice. March is help. April is transform. 
Yes. May is motivate. Oh, right now. June is evolve. July is truth. Mm. August is power. Nice. September is heal. October is renew. Mm -hmm. November is reset. Yes. And December is restore. Mm. Amen to that. That's, August, 20, that's chills. <laughs> that's 2021 calendar. Yes. That's beautiful. And I was I've been sharing it with people. So they asked me, they say, well, why would he renew you? They say they get all the way to the heel part. Then when they get to the heel part, they get lost the last three months. They say, why would he renew you, then reset you, then restore you? That's right. They say, why would he do that? They say he going to renew you, then he going to reset you. Why would he reset you after he renew you? I said, well, I don't know about you. I can only tell you about me. Mm -hmm. So all this that I don't been through. And after my healing, mm. he renewed my mind. That he, he got to renew me. He yes. got to get me back on, get me back to where I was when I this when I got all off track and got discombobulated, got dis distracted, mm. got sidetracked, whatever the situation was. But I got off track. Right. So after he renewed me, he got to reset me so he can get me back where I was supposed to be I when I got off track. Amen to that. I think you're absolutely right. Because in the renewal, that's where you're empowered again. That's when he's able to work on you, right? That's when he's able to really, you know, rebuild you, right? And then and then when you come back, you're stronger, right? Because now all those experiences made you even more intense on serving him and building his kingdom and helping people that understand that whatever your gift is, that you're, you're able to bring it to that next level. Because you need to be renewed because we get tired as well, right? And when we get tired, you know, halt, right? Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. We have to stop. And in that stop, when that moment when we decide to stop, he's able to do his work in us and renew us. And he said, you got to, you know, be not, you have to be able to have that renewing of your mind and your spirit. So I, I understand that. Wow. And then, yeah, I get that. Absolutely. I love that. I want you to share how um, individuals can get your, um, your books. How oh, they can okay. follow you, um, what social media platforms you're on. Okay. We want all that good stuff. So you can find both Amazingly Happy Things and I Love Saturdays on um, Amazon, as well as on Zulon Press, X-U-L-O-N Press. Um, and anywhere else books are sold, um, the books at Walmart as well. Um, but um, Amazon is always the easiest uh, way to get the book and Zulon Press. And they're available on both the uh, in paperback and hardcover and the Kindle version as well for both of them. And so um, it's so I thank you for that. As well as um, you can find me on Facebook, um, Nicole Peltier Lewis, and on Instagram, author Nicole Peltier Lewis. And so um, both of those, so you can follow me again on Instagram at author Nicole Peltier Lewis. And on Facebook at Nicole Peltier Lewis, author. So that's where you can find my book, um, and it's just a it's it's a wonderful read for young readers, but it's also uh, something that I think um, as adults are reading it to their young readers that they will get a kick out of it as well, because it's about relationship and family. Angela, you there? I know the enemy is a lie. He is. But I, I, I was able to share with everyone that you can find me on Instagram at Nicole Peltier Lewis and on Facebook at Nicole, author Nicole Peltier Lewis and that the book is able to be um, found on Amazon um, and also Zoom on Press is where I, I did the self-publishing. Um, XULON, which is a Christian um, publishing company, as well as in Walmart and other uh, markets. And so and it's available in three forms, Kindle, hardback, and paperback. Amen, amen, amen. I thank you. I don't know what the internet was doing, but it was doing all kind of little crazy stuff just then. So I thank you for um for repeating it and sharing that again. Um <clears throat> Do you have um a website? Because I, I I don't know I didn't hear 
you mentioned a website. Do you have a so website? With, so I use, um, so they can follow me on my author's page on Amazon. And then, and, and that's all that's there. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if you would post that in the private chat section, and then I can post it up on the screen. So um, they can um, see that. Okay, I'll do that while we're so do you have any um upcoming events um you have anything that's coming up anything that um we can be looking forward for for um 2021 yes so i'm hoping to uh, start a youtube channel for uh with uh, so that i can actually i've always been able to do uh student talks author workshops and things of that nature but because we're you know where we are in the world right now you know schools are not open and um all of that i would like to take it to to do it virtually so i'm going to start a youtube channel where i'll have the readings and things like that where people can interact with the book as well as um with um, some of my young readers who will be reading and acting out some of the stories and so they can look out for that as well i'm looking forward to um create to adding to to this and adding a gratitude journal um, that will go with amazing happy things and that'll be available in February, um, right, right during Black History Month as well. So it's just so they if they follow me on Facebook and then they follow me on Instagram, they can keep up with all the new things that will be happening on the horizon. But um, it's exciting just to be able to read it, the, the story and see students' face, children's faces when they read it and they're able to to you know do the little dances and little songs like you know little jingles that I put through the book. And be able to relate to a character that looks like them, that has curly, curly hair like them. That's mommy is, you know, has the afro and is like, look, you got yes. to get this done. So it's the representation in the books. I think is important. And um, I have a great illustrator too. She's phenomenal. Her name is Dominique Hughes. Let me see if I can. And so um, the book itself, I mean, when you read, when you see it, it's actually the it's artwork in the in the amazing happy thing. So when you look at it, it's just I think it's just really beautiful. She did a great job. Amen. And uh, you know, there's representation in the book. And um, it's about things that we take for granted sometimes, like the pretty dress we wore on our birthday. And that's her wearing a pretty dress, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, and at the end of the book, what I think is most important is no matter what your faith is, you know, if, you, if you're Pentecostal, if you're down home, if you're if you're Baptist, if you're not practicing, but you believe in God in any way, it allows young people to start having an uh, opportunity for a gratitude practice. And I think that's what's important is that at the end of the day, um, they get to write in the book their own gratitude prayer because through the book, Sianna is meditating and thinking and praying about what she's grateful for. And then at the end, the young reader gets to write their own gratitude prayer. And so I've been told that there have been families that have made that a part of their evening um, prayer time where they let the, the, the children then say, okay, now I'm going to do my gratitude prayer. I'm grateful for my lollipop. I'm grateful for pizza today. I'm grateful for <laughs> the fact that I got to play outside, you know, whatever it is. I, you know, grateful for my new game. But they are able to do that themselves and get into the habit of practicing gratitude and being really thankful. I don't know how much you know about my platform, um, but I have a magazine. Um, we actually have a um, book review section. And um, in 2021, we're launching um, a children's um, section of the book review where we want kids to get involved in reading these books. Yes. For Kids can do reviews. They do book reports. Absolutely. And we want them to be able to um, critique these books and give their opinion because their opinion is what really matters. That's right. It, it, it doesn't matter what the adults think about these children's books. If 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 the children are not being affected by it and we're not getting their opinion, then it, it does not matter. So um, I want to extend to you, um, because we're looking for children. Um, if right. you would please share that we we need book reviewers. We need children. Oh, I, have, I have a school full of them. <laughs> I'm not, um, I have um, a young lady that um, she's over. Um, she's over that particular department. Okay. Um, I actually have this too. Um, and I'm going to put both of them in contact with you. If it's okay. If I can thank you guys. Um, one of them, she's the director of the book review team. She um, works for um, 
the library system in Charleston, South Carolina, okay. one of the second largest library systems in South Carolina. Um, she's been doing that for like 15 years. She's an avid reader. She's very oh, good. At she yeah. And then the, the lady that's um, the team leader over the youth um, book review team, um, she's from Anderson, South Carolina. Um, she's a pastor. She's an author. She's, nice. um, she do poetry. She does acting. She does a lot. Um, and she works with the youth. So um, she's over um, the youth part. Of, so I'm definitely going to put them in contact with you. I think that's exciting. Be a, Absolutely. a great opportunity. And um, yeah. hopefully when this um, this COVID stuff is over or when we can place um, at least practice social distance, um, we, I, hopefully we'll be able to come out and do some more live events because I don't know if you've been able to see some of the live events that I used to do. Um, but we used to go out from state to state, city to city right. and do um, author showcases where we would showcase the authors, give the authors the opportunity to shed, set up and display um, their brands at a table. Right. And um, we had um, opportunity to network. Um, I, I want authors to know that they don't just have to be vendors, that they can be entrepreneurs, that they can build a brand around yes. their book, that, you know, you can you can build things, you can build your platform. So that's what we do at these um, events. We it's provide exciting. a um, literary expo where we bring people in and they host workshops on marketing, branding, um, membership programs, uh, mm -hmm. motivation speaking um just different things we had the opportunity to go to colorado um we did one in florida we did one nice. um, raleigh north carolina we did one in atlanta um so i definitely want to connect with you so i want to extend my That's platform exciting. to you um thank you i appreciate that yes um aalac and aspiring authors magazine um this is my desire i just want to be able to connect brown authors all over the world i want to be able to bring awareness to them i want people to know who they are um my editor for my magazine she's actually out of lesto africa um born and raised um she's um never left there um, nice. still living there right there off um, the border of south africa i have mm -hmm. um, writers out of nigeria um, nice. I just um, had conversations with the guy out of um, 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 Ghana, and we're going to be partnering and doing some things in 2021. Um, nice. My desire is to touch people and to let people know that they have purpose. And, and you, yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. And it's so important to, to touch the diaspora as well, right? So going back to to, to uh brothers and sisters all over the world who look like us, you know, yes. you know, so it's so important. I, you know, this, my book has, um, I've been featured in, um, in the UK and some other places and, and in one of my, one of my writers out of the UK, one of my writers out of the UK, she's yes. out of the UK. Um, me and her just had conversation on yesterday. Um, matter of fact, she just, she just redid, um, some things for the magazine. That's awesome. Um, so she, um, she was a part of the book review team, but she stepped down from the book re review team because she wanted to write for the magazine and just write for the magazine. So um, she's writing for the magazine in 2021. Um, we have um, Millie Gross, and you talked about gratitude. Um, Millie Gross is out of the Virgin Islands. Nice. That is her platform. Gratitude is her platform. Oh, um, Y'all have to connect. Yes, there, I mean, there's no, I, I mean, this, this is what I do when when I, when I know people come across my platform that can connect with somebody <laughs> else doing something. Y'all are y'all are on the same wavelength, so yeah, why not she's connect with you guys? Too. <laughs> and you guys can 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 collaborate and work on together. We can touch lives in a different way. Not only she just yeah. did something over in the Virgin Islands where she had, I think, about a hundred um, books donated. She's doing a, a project over there where she's doing children books. And oh, we had a, I just sent our whole box of um, children books. Um, matter of fact, um, they're going to be featured in the magazine coming up um, in this issue coming up. Nice. Um, that's going to release. Uh, hopefully it'll be out this coming up Saturday. Um, that's good. But see how God just connect people. I, I didn't have yeah. a chance to really, you know, I don't have a chance to really go in deep and, and find out a lot about the authors before they come on. And right. some, I, I don't want it. I, sometimes I don't want to know everything before y'all come on because I want to get to know you guys just like those that are tuned in. 
I so understand. that I can ask questions too. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. No, I understand completely. I get <laughs> it. And it's, the, the spontaneity of it makes it even more exciting, right? Because it's like, well, it's going to be it. Let's help me hold the ghost. Like it's going to go any way, any direction that it goes in. And then you can go back and say, oh, that was good. You know? And people can see <laughs> us for who we are. Yeah, and then when I, I feel like when people see who you see you for who you are, mm -hmm. they can connect with you because right. they can see themselves. That's right. and, and, and that's most important. We, we've been co so consumed mm -hmm. in really how people look at us on the outside instead of being transparent so people can see what's on the inside. That's right. That's so true. That's so true. I think, you know, when you think about it, you just want to be real. You just want to be honest. You want to be transparent. You want to be able to, you know, walk the life that, you know, it's like, hey, it is what it is, you know, and it's liberating. That's where liberation really happens when you can just walk in your truth. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Truth. That's one of my words. And I just, yes. released, the book. I just released the book. Let me see. Oh, I'm owning my truth. Yes, absolutely. That's so a let beautiful me share cover. Here. <laughs> what the truth means. I'm going to tell you what the truth means. It right, says, it. So um, I did this with 19 other women. I, I believe in collaborating. I believe yeah. in allowing other people to share their story because you can touch more lives this way. And That's then right. if they just read my story, my story may not resonate with them, but they mm -hmm. got 19 other people in here that may resonate with them or bits that's and right. pieces of somebody's story may say, oh, that's me. So this is what the T stands for. Test, trials, and tribulations. The mm. R stands for resilience. Yeah. Not willing to give up. The mm. U stands for uniqueness. Knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. The T stands for transparency. Willing to share openly, coming from under the layers of masks. The H stands for helping others heal through sharing your testimony. The mm -hmm. S stands for servant of God for kingdom building. Yes. I love that. And that's what truth stands for. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yeah. I really love it. We just released this book the day before. We did our virtual um, book lunch the day before Thanksgiving. That is awesome. That is true. It's all about that. Owning your truth. It's this live my, my word of the my word of um, the last couple of months has been liberation. You know, and I think that's what it and owning your truth makes you truly free. Free. Truly free. Free. And I think that's when, you know, when people have imposter syndrome or not knowing who they are or whose they are, when they start walking in their truth, that's when they're able to renew, like you said earlier, be restored and walk in their purpose. Wow. And I think that's that's so true. That's awesome. I definitely want to thank you um for coming on today and sharing My with pleasure. us. Um, I truly have been blessed. Um, before you leave, I, I want you to leave those that are tuned in and those that will hear this replay because I will be sharing this across our social media um, platforms, uh, on all my social media platforms. <laughs> so people, people are going to hear this message. And I, I want you to encourage someone on today. All right. Well, again, Angela, I want to thank you for having me. Um, Every time we get an opportunity to tell others to trust God, um, life is not a you know life is not a crystal stair. You know we we often think that it's supposed to be smooth sailing that I've done X Y and Z correct, so it's going to be and I believe and I trust and I've been nice, I've been kind, and everything's going to go according to plan. But that's not the way it, it works. But what does happen? is that with each and every step that you allow him to order, each and every step that you allow him to direct, that you can have perfect peace and the peace that surpasses all understanding because you know who is in charge and who you belong to. And so I wanna encourage families right now who are really trying to do it all, multitasking, um, do COVID and trying to figure out what to do with their young people, with their children to keep them, their mental health and their spiritual health strong. Churches are not, doors are not open. To just remember to just hold fast to the little things, making cookies. It might take a little extra planning. You might not be able to do it from scratch. Maybe you get the Nestle little pack and you just throw them on the, on the cookie sheet. The children will still be pleased. If you pop the popcorn in the microwave and you make it a movie night and watch the same thing you watched six times on Netflix, it will be an event, 
right? Because memories still need to be formed even through a pandemic, right? We keep that CNN rotation going on and the kids are listening. So why don't we start to disturb that? Because the enemy wants us to just be able to, to fall into despair. But when he's, but hope is that spark. And by reading, enriching our kids, our kids, after this is done, our kids have to be literate. They have to be spiritually whole. They have to have the soft skills necessary to be able to handle the things that Angela talked about that we might go through, the things that I've gone through. And we equip them. We are charged to equip them. That is what our God-given purpose is to equip them. So please share books like mine that allow for representation so your little boys and girls can see themselves in the main characters and use that even if you don't have any energy after a full eight hours on Zoom trying to work and still have to make dinner, spend that 10 minutes just to ensure that they understand how they are God's children, how they are loved and how they are loved by you. And that will make up for a multitude of anything else that's going on in the world today. So be encouraged. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you for coming on today. And like I do all my guests, I extend. Um, if there's anything that I can do to assist you on this journey, please feel free to reach out to me at Aspiring Authors Magazine or AALAC. Uh, this is what I do. I, I, I want to Wonderful. see. I want to see everybody win. I, yes, I want to indeed. see my people healed. I want to see my people walking in their purpose, you yeah. know, because we all have a purpose here and we have to be helpmates one to another. So I thank you. I thank you for thank all you, you. did. And I'm me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And we're definitely um, going to connect, um, truly connect. So I thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank to you. So See I want to thank you guys for coming, for stopping by today and being a part of um, Up Close and Personal with Angela. I tell you, I do not take this platform lightly. Um, those that follow me, you know how passionate I am about the things that I do. Um, if you have been inspired today, I want you to share this broadcast across your circle of influence. We have to come together. I thank my guest today for coming on and sharing, sharing her journey. It has not been easy, but she has definitely showed resilience. Please stop by her platform, purchase her book. She's letting these kids know that they have purpose. And she's leading by example. She's letting them see themselves in these books. And she's teaching them gratitude, how to be thankful for the little things that sometimes we overlook. So I thank you, author Nicole, for stopping by today. Y'all, please share her on your platform. Share this broadcast. Go over, stop by, show her some love. You can go on Amazon and purchase her book. And y'all know how I am. If you are a Prime member, you know you can download that book and leave a review. So let's support and show some love. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you can, stop back by the one o'clock hour. I will have another amazing guest. If you can't, you have a great rest of your day. And like always, I love you with the love of Christ. <laughs>